Okay, we're gonna talk about the inner twerking of my big black rear end, right? I, I'm sorry, I love the, the name of that big giant black rear end. So we're talking about a rear end in a top fuel car. We're talking about 12 inch diameter ring and pinion. This right here is the ring gear. This right here is the pinion. What do you think this thing weighs? Well, let's show you. I got a scale here. Just the ring gear is 19 pounds. Now the pinion itself twenty pounds. You guys see that? Twenty pounds. Anyway, so 320 gear is what we run in top fuel. That's the only gear that we can run. A ring gear set's about two thousand dollars. And it's kind of built like a Ford, where it has a, a bearing on the back side of the pinion to help it not uh, under torque, right? To pull away from the ring gear, because it's spinning the ring gear, and the first thing it wants to do is spin it away from the gear. So that's what this does, it helps support that. All right, let's go on to what is a connection between the pinion, the ring gear, that's the spool. This is what the ring gear, actually sets on the ring gear sets down on the spool you see here you want to say posi track well it's 100 percent posi track because it's all one piece and it's a one piece axle too so anyway so that's where the ring gear sits it spins the spool the spool inside of it you'll see is splined right there and we were talking about in a previous deal that one side of the axle is longer in between um the gear cuts you know the splines then the other side and the reason why is because the ring gear is clear over here because the pinion is setting here so you want it to be as close to the ring gear as possible you don't want to sit here and drive the axle on this side of the spool and that's how wide you know the the actual case is you know that this sets in anyway so you can see inside the the splines are really close on that side compared to where they are on that side. Anyway, so that means the axle itself is shorter on one side than the other. This is a particular axle is an axle that was taken out. Uh, it's a steel axle, and um, this one here, you could probably ever not do anything to it. It's, it's a thicker series of axles. They have different thicknesses for how much weight you wanna carry. So this particular one, and this is on the heavy side for sure. <clears throat> So this particular one is right around 23 pounds almost. So there's a lot of reciprocating weight, um, you know, going through this thing. So uh, spindles aluminum by, and um, so it's pretty lightweight. 15 pounds, is that what it is? Yeah, 15 pounds. So you gotta add bolts to that. So anyway, so the axle, you know, is going in this. And you can see the splines are actually the same on the hubs as it is in this. So this here slides down in the spool and the spool drives the axle. Next thing, what drives, what drives the actual wheel? This piece right here, it's called a hub. This hub is on, actually this is the drive hub. This is actually what is rotating out on the spindle. So this kind of spindle design has been around for a long time. Um, all your dualies and all that kind of stuff have this style of spindle, one tons, things like that. So this hub, this is connected to the center section. So this hub goes in on this via a couple bearings. They're not small. And then those bearings are on this and then they're tightened up with this nut right here and they're pressed up against basically a crush sleeve so you get it pretty damn tight because you don't want this thing you know flopping around on here what happens over time after hitting the gas the axle flexes there's no doubt about it it flexes and what it does is it makes this end out around actually and you can see on the edges on a used one where it's actually hitting 
uh, the side of this spindle. And the spindle, it's light, it's aluminum. Um, next thing, I wanna talk about this drive hub. So the drive hub sits on this, it bolts down. This is how the wheel is kept on. Of course, the lug nuts or lug studs, sorry. And, but what's cool about this that people don't understand is that on normal cars, right? They're actually drove from the studs. The studs is what turns the wheel. Not in our case. We had a situation uh, a, a while back where it sheared the studs off and lost the tire and the tire and wheel flew off and it went into the crowd. So what they did is they decided to change it more to where it's driving off these lugs. The studs just hold the wheel on. These lugs is actually what is basically a gear, you know, uh, into the actual wheel. And, and after this, I'll, I'll actually grab a wheel and I'll show you how this sits down inside of it. So this part here is on the end of the axle. So it, this is what drives the, drives the wheel. So these are one piece weld Delta uh, ones, top fuel wheel. You can see here, we all have to run the same tire, a Goodyear tire. Um, and this is the uh, opposite side. And I was telling you about the, how this thing is, is driven by the rear end. So this is the hub. It sets inside the wheel and that's how it drives. It does not drive off the lug studs. It drives off basically with these cogs that are on here. So there you go. So in a nutshell, real quickly, that's the inner workings of one of the big black rear ends.